I love you girls beyond words. You know that, you're my angels. It's Mother's Day and here in the community of Cranston, a candlelight vigil is being held to honor the lives of 25-year-old Jasmine Lovett and 22-month-old daughter, Aaliyah Sanderson. On the last day that I had seen her, uh, I came down my stairs and she had a smile from ear to ear and she recognized me as soon as she saw me and it was like so awesome. And, and I think about that moment often, scooped her up, gave her a hug, told her I loved her and you know, it was, it was the last time I saw her. So it's, it's a special memory. She was smart, a really good baby. She walked at nine months. She was trying to sing before she could say a sentence. She loved to dance, loved to bounce on Nana's knee, play patty cake, itsy bitsy spider. <laughs> yeah, she was, she was an amazing sweet baby. During the vigil, balloons with messages of love sent into the air and people put candles around pictures of Aaliyah and Jasmine. Jasmine was an incredible mother and, and it just felt right to honor her and her baby girl on, on this day specifically. Jasmine was just a caring person. She cared so much about everybody. So every time I was with her, she was, you know, she was so attentive to everybody. How are you? You know, she's so loving. I, I can't say enough nice things about Jasmine, especially about her being a mom. We were very close. We lived together for a little over a year. And yeah, like I say, always made me feel included, even their family. If they had a dinner, we were invited, me included. They came to our house tonight, Christmas. Police have charged Robert Leeming with two counts of second degree murder. It's understood Lovett and Leeming were in an on again, off again relationship while they were living in his home for about eight months. Their bodies were found in Kananaskis country three weeks after they were last seen alive. The family is completely devastated. I still almost feel like I'm in shock, like I'm in a nightmare. This can't be true. The next court date for Leeming is on Tuesday. Here at the vigil, the family wants everyone to remember Jasmine and Aaliyah and the impact they have had on their lives. In Calgary, Kendra Fowler, City News.